The J theme to Bishvat lessons starts with a trigger. What does a year in the life of a tree typically look like? Based on this, students share their own responses. When do they think would be the best time of year to have a new year for the trees? This brings us to our driving question. Why should the date for the new year for the trees be on the 15th of Shvat in the middle of the winter? This seems like a largely dormant time of year for the trees, hardly a new beginning. In fact, this question is asked by the Gemara, which answers that it's the time when most of the rain has fallen for the year. But what does this rainfall have to do with the blossoming of the trees that will take place months later? To understand this, we need to understand the agriculture in Israel. We look first at sources in the Torah that compare the agriculture of Egypt to the agriculture of Israel. Students compare the Shivat Haminim of Israel to the produce that the Bnei Israel recall eating in the land of Egypt. As they will recognize by sorting the types of produce grown in each country, the Shivat Haminim are mostly fruits grown on trees while the produce of Egypt was largely vegetables that grow in the ground. Why the difference? Using two psukim and devarim that compare the water sources and terrain of Israel and Egypt, and using Google Earth along with other geography sources, students discover that the Egyptian agriculture was largely based on the Nile River and its irrigation system. All Egyptian agriculture takes place in the Nile Valley and does not rely on the rainfall at all. By comparison, Israel has no such source of water and must rely solely on rainfall. In addition, the terrain of Israel is largely hilly and has two small plains along the coast and in the Jordan Valley. In the dry climates of Egypt and Israel, vegetables grow well using irrigation, but not so well relying on the small annual rainfall. However, the question remains, how do Israeli trees grow and produce fruit with such small annual rainfall? Through an interesting experiment, students learn how capillary action works. Because of its molecular makeup, water naturally defies the force of gravity and rises on solid surfaces. This explains how trees grow in Israel. Rainwater is stored in the ground and comes up through the rocks and soil to produce water for the tree even months after the rain has fallen. This works for trees that have a well-developed root system, but not for vegetables that have shallow root systems. Capillary action also answers the driving question of why Tu B'Shvat is in the middle of the winter and explains the Gemara's reasoning for the date of the 15th of Shvat, since most of the yearly rain has already fallen by that date. This is the critical rain that trees will use when they eventually blossom in the spring or summer months.